Hello, this is Chiron Intuition, and I'm here to do a reading for the collective. It's not going to resonate with everyone, but if it does, take what goes, and please leave what does not. We have pillory. It says open dishonor, humiliation, finding fault, punishment, serving time. Oh my goodness, that's where they put your damn head in the damn look. Where, where did they do this shit? In? Did they do that shit in England or some shit? Where they put your head in there and then they put your two hands? I don't know where the hell they did. I don't know. I don't know. Okay. But it's it's saying some type of mockery, some type of some shit that somebody has to go through. It says summer. Wow. Let me get something with this summer. And we're talking what June, July, and August. Somebody won't be embarrassed. It says diamond. Wow. What is this? It says very likely at this time, the situation or outcome is likely to occur. Wait a minute. It's like, it's, it's like somebody's going from being mocked to being a diamond. That's what I'm seeing here. Cancer, Leo, Virgo. Someone is going from being humiliated or I don't know, ridiculed or mocked or whatever to being a diamond. Even a diamond, it says invincible spiritual power here. Creative force. Let me get something here with this. We have the seven of swords here. Yep. Somebody betrayed you. It looked like somebody was lying about something. Trying to get away with some bullshit. We have the waxing moon here. There's something here that's gaining strength. It's becoming more evident. Okay. It's something here where it's increasing or like somebody's consciousness is changing. Something's opening up here. Like maybe somebody's lies are coming out. Maybe the wrong person was found guilty of some shit. We have the seven of wands, 77, something about 77 here. Seven of swords, seven of wands here. This is somebody that's going to fight back. Somebody that's taking a stand. I don't know if this is you or whoever, but there is an energy of not backing down here and being, oh, we got the high priestess here. The high priestess knows the truth. Hmm. Wow, they may have done this to a high priestess, some type of intuitive. You know how like they like to call everybody witches these days, but everybody's not a witch. There are different spiritual titles, there are different spiritual abilities. There's a lot of different things going on. Okay. We do not have to categorize everybody to say, I don't got no I ain't got nothing against witches. Okay. But we ain't gotta categorize everybody the same thing. I guess that's my opinion. We have judgment here. You see what I'm saying? You see what I'm saying? And it came out here. It came out. It's like, I feel like somebody was persecuted because literally, like I said, they like to call everybody a witch. It doesn't matter what you do. You could be a healer. You could be an intuitive. You could see past life. They just say, witch, witch, witch. Okay. You could be a shaman. They say witch. <laughs> you could be a Baba Lao. They say witch. You could be a whole bunch of things and they call it a witch. That's so crazy. We have the moon card, Lord. 
Judgment and the Moon card. Wow, there was some hidden shit going on here. There was some hidden things behind the scenes. You got the High Priestess and the Moon card here. And Judgment here. This is some past life shit right here. I feel like somebody was put to death, basically. This is some past life stuff right here. Mm-hmm. And the truth is coming out. And we have the Four of Cups energy here. Right underneath Diamond. Right underneath Diamond. They can't see it, or they didn't see it, or they don't want to see it. What's this at the bottom here? Wow. And then you have the Knight of Pentacles here. Could be talking about an earth sign here. There's something here very much part of somebody's story. Very much somebody waking up to the truth here. Very much somebody is like, I don't know how to say, like somebody is swimming in the story. They're swimming in their story. They're living their story. They're learning their mystery. I'm seeing it here, High Priestess, yeah. And the moon, they're learning their mystery here. Judgment, being released, being set free, answering the call. And then this Four of Cups right here. Somebody's a diamond, and yet somebody, there's someone that feels like, I don't know what this is. Do they feel ignored? Do they feel like they can't access you? Do they feel like they can't touch it? Do they just not see it? Are they just blind? That's what I'm wondering. That's what I'm wondering. But it's something here shining like it's literally coming out the bowl. It's the diamond that's in the damn thing. Look, I'm trying to tell you, somebody really showed their true colors. They really showed their true colors here. It's going to show in the summer that somebody is a diamond. It says very likely at this time, the situation or outcome is likely to occur. Seven of sword and waxing moon. Waxing moon is when the moon is increasing to full. So it's going towards some type of awareness. Seven of wands. There's some type of battle, some type of fight, some type of fighting back. Because, you know, sometimes people are wrongfully convicted, right? And they have to fight back. And then they get labeled angry or they get labeled bitter. Or they get labeled all these fucking things because they're defending themselves. That's the trick right there. Let me get something here. Yeah, High Priestess can see what's going on. We got the Lover's card here, Gemini Energy. Let me get something with this Gemini Energy here. Now, this could have been something about a commitment. Look, we got the Moon card again. Pisces Energy again. Like, something was highlighted about a relationship. Something was definitely highlighted about a relationship. Almost like you was in a relationship that you ended up being humiliated for something that you didn't do or you ended up being charged or unalived for something you didn't do let me get something here gemini and pisces though oh yeah they're communicating from the other side they're communicating from the other side here we got the ace of cups yeah something has been healed or it will be completely healed here this is a new cup of love from the divine here let me get something here with this lover's cup. I mean, lover's card. Wow, they did not see it. Look, we got the same four sword. I was just, I just said, it. I was just looking at this four of cups right here, and the four of cups came out right here. Somebody is numb. Somebody's trying to act like they don't see the shit. Okay, they're trying to act like they don't see you, even though they're just as much as part of the story as you are. They're just stuck in their ways here. They're just stuck in their ways. They're trying to act like they're comfortable with this shit. They're trying to act like that shit is not a diamond. Let me get something here with this moon card. they trying to act like that shit is not a diamond out here. Oh, they silly. They're ignoring spirit. They're trying to ignore spirit here. We got the four of wands here. Yeah, something is solid in the spiritual. This four of wands is right underneath the moon card. Something is very much solid within some type of cycle. Something has been achieved here that it might be hard to see. It's giving 12th house energy. It might be very hard to see what has been achieved here, but this has been achieved. This has been achieved. And this person trying to act like it's not. 
yeah let me get something with this ace of cups energy here yeah something has been built and then we have the eight we have the eight of swords energy here wow what is this at the bottom the ten of wands somebody was just unable to understand they were unable to see and now they got to carry that fucking burden they got to carry it it's their punishment now it's not your punishment now they're the ones that's getting humiliated now they're the ones that's getting ridiculed and mocked now they're the ones that's looking vulnerable okay it says open dishonor yeah shut the fuck down they don't say that but that's what i'm saying okay somebody got caught out here we have the page of wands energy fire sign here let me get something with this page of wands energy we got the moon card out here three motherfucking times three times y'all we have the moon card out here how many times we need the moon to come out here okay when i tell you somebody and the moon look at the moon look at the moon three of these you see how the moon is looking down that's like imagine that every time you look up the spirit looking at you like what, what what the hell you thought you was gonna get away with this huh for real that's how the moon is looking at somebody queen of cups right here right on top of the moon i'm telling you and that's that high priestess energy here that's that high priestess energy oh my god i can't even believe how these cards look right now look at this somebody is communicating through the veil the veil whatever the fuck it is i don't care somebody is communicating through some shit like communicating through dreams communicating through signs like this person is getting hit from all directions the moon card the moon card is out here three times this person has fear this person literally is living in the water they cannot i don't know how to say like they can't avoid the water they like imagine the fish avoiding water and you can't do that they are living in the motherfucking water. And the Queen of Cups knows exactly what this Page of Wands is going through. Because of what they did. And it was sometimes... I don't know how y'all knew each other, met each other. It's something... <sighs> Let me get something with this Queen of Cups energy. Oh, we got the Knight of Cups energy too. Wow. It looked like this Queen of Cups is really like in the middle. <laughs> like... I don't know how to explain that. It looked like this Queen of Cups is the one that takes something from here and they bring it to the other side. Because right on top of the moon card is this. And the Knight of Cups is about movement. And it's like back to back. It's like, and this was facing the moon card and the Page of Wands. Remember? It's like, I feel like they move something in between worlds or something like that. It's very, it's like a mystery. It's like a deep ass mystery. Let me get something with this Ace of Cups. And I just saw the tower. Let me get something with this Ace of Cups here. We have the Two of Swords energy here. Two of Swords energy. And that's that in-between energy I'm talking about. And then the moon is in that card too. And then we have the Chariot, which is more water. It's Cancer energy here wow i'm getting the energy also that somebody was able to move forward like somebody somebody didn't have to stay in a situation someone could move forward to like healing or another connection or another connection came in or somebody just somebody is just on the move now somebody's not waiting or they're not sitting around or they're not let me get something with this four of cups here because this is an emotional connection here is what I'm seeing. And somebody trying to act like they're not part of it. They're not part of the story. Let me get something with this four of pentacles here. Okay, they're trying to ignore that somebody is solid. Look at this. This is what they're trying to ignore. Somebody's stability. Okay. Somebody's achievements. Let me get something with this four of pentacles energy here. It's like somebody's secure. Look, Wheel of Fortune. Somebody is very secure. Somebody is a completely different Wheel of Fortune. The times have changed. Something has changed here. Somebody is not looking. I'm telling you. And the shit has flipped. The tables have turned. And that's why this person trying to act like it ain't nothing. Let me get something with the Four of Wands energy here. 
we have the star. Yep, right on top of the four of wands. I'm telling you, somebody has achieved something in the spiritual and in the material with this four of pentacles. And then we have the four of sword here. Yep, all these fours, four, four, four right here. Wow. Yeah, somebody has achieved peace also. Somebody is not stressed out. They not stressing because they see what happened. They see the truth. If You know, some things like, okay, I'm the type of person, if I see some shit, because I don't like when people be like, oh, what are you talking about? I don't like that shit. I'm the type of person, I'm not going to argue with you. I'm not even going to alert you to what I know, but I see you though. Okay. I see you though. It's not important for me to prove what I see because that's how people, oh, well, I don't know what you're talking about. You're going to have to show me. What are you talking about? What, what, what did I say? Or, like you ever had somebody like, <laughs> you may have a whole video of this person, right? And you confront this person. You don't show them the video, but you confront this person and you're like, I know you did this. And this person will sit there and lie to your face like, no, I didn't. Like where? Show me. Show me what I did. Show me what I did then. Who told you this? And then when you come up with the evidence, then what they say? Man, I don't know that. Man. Ain't nobody trying to hear that. That's what I'm saying. When you know, you just fucking know. And that's just that. You have the Two of Cups energy here. I'm telling you, they could not see. The Two of Cups is right on top of the Eight of Swords. And I said the Eight of Swords is when somebody can't see. They don't have that clarity. Okay? They're blinded by something that's in the past. They did not see that this was a healing relationship or something like that. And now they're trying to ignore it. And we got the Queen of Wands energy here. Fire sign. Three of Cups right on top of this Ten of Wands here. Somebody has to bear this in front of everybody. Okay? This there may be people celebrating because this person literally has to go through this or they're literally feeling the heat on the back of that neck. OK, let me get something here. They are feeling it here. They probably having crazy ass dreams and all types of shit. Let me get something here. The moon card is out here three times. Three times and then we got the three of wands. Let me look at any threes here because that is very significant. Anything with threes. This has a three on it where it says very likely at this time, the situation or outcome is likely to occur. That's a number three. Uh, what else? We got any other number threes here? The only other number three we have is this three of cups right here. And it's cups at that. Yeah. I'm telling you, man, this person is it's like strike three. You're out. It's like spirit was watching the whole time. Look at this. There's a face in the moon. Spirit was watching the whole time. The whole damn time spirit was watching. The whole time. What do we have? The element of air. Okay. It says likely it's developing. The element of air and somebody is somebody's in the clouds. Somebody's like literally floating here. It says inventive, bright ideas, alert, look, clever, intellectual. Let me get something here. Maybe now somebody want to talk. Now somebody want to communicate. Now somebody want to reach out or something like that. Or they're acting like they don't because remember, we do have the four of cups out here twice. So it's very unlikely for somebody to acknowledge something. Then you have... <laughs> It says the king of air. So we got the air element and we have the king of air. So this could be Gemini, Libra. Well, it's most likely Libra because it says the king of air and that's a cardinal sign. Let me get something here. Also, the justice card is what I'm getting. Like the truth is the truth. The truth is out. The truth is the truth. And it is what it is with the air element. It is what it is. The truth is the truth. We have Cardinal. See, exactly. It's it's something with a Libra or it's like the Justice card here. It's like this is something about taking action here. Hmm, Like the start of a new season or something about like having power or being ignited. OK, possibly being a leader of some sort. And it says child beginnings, innocent, brand new, spontaneous. Maybe inexperience, but definitely something that is a beginning here. It's brand new. Wow. Somebody wants to take action here. Somebody might want to take action towards you. Number 13 also is standing out to me with this child card. Let me get an angel message here. Wait, what's under this? Because it's peeking out. Squirrel, energetic, secretive. 
saving, hoarding, hmm, preparing for anything, and miscommunication. What? Whatever. Somebody better not. Somebody may have also thought you were a child. Miscommunication, prepare for anything here. Yeah, somebody might try to talk to you some type of way or they might try to... Nah, you a whole fucking diamond out here. Okay, let me get something with this. They might try to force them, force something on you or try to get you... Nah. I don't know who this damn air sign is. It says friendship and union. What did I tell you? What did I tell you? Power and intention. Mm-mm. Mm -mm. This is somebody that it looked like they didn't have your back in the past any damn way. Honestly, it looked like this is somebody that wants to come into your energy because they see you're a diamond after they had you fucking humiliated or something like that. After they lied, seven of sword. And it's like, I don't know in what way you stood up for yourself or if this was just spirit kicking this person's ass out here. But somebody still don't know how to step to you. It's a child and it's a fucking squirrel. They need to take them damn nuts somewhere else. Okay. I'm going to leave this one right here. If you like the way that I read, please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you so much for your likes, shares, and subscribes. I truly appreciate it because it is how we get the messages out in order to elevate the collective. I love you guys and I'll be back with another reading later. Bye.